Over a third of all workplace injuries in New Brunswick are musculoskeletal injuries, or MSIs, sometimes called soft tissue injuries. 70% of those injuries involve the back and shoulders. MSIs are painful and expensive. The good news is, you can prevent them. In the next few minutes, you'll learn how to recognize a situation that could lead to a musculoskeletal injury. You'll learn how to assess the risk in order to control or eliminate it. In short, you'll learn how to work safe. Gdouk Savoie invited our camera crew in so we could show you how they work safe. Every company is unique, but the same principles apply to anyone whose job involves manual handling. At Gdouk Savoie, we try to promote safety primarily by taking care of our employees. They are a luxury we can't forget. If everyone can work safely, they are happier and production and quality also increase automatically. Furthermore, we can save on costs and are able to manage much better. Some of the things we do at work, lifting, reaching, or repeating the same action over and over again, can injure muscles, tendons, and ligaments in the neck, shoulders, arms, legs, and especially the back. This type of injury is called musculoskeletal, or an MSI. Sometimes, symptoms appear suddenly in a single injury. More often, they appear gradually over time. Tenderness, swollen joints, aches and pains may all be signs and symptoms of an MSI. There are three steps in the process of preventing musculoskeletal injuries. First, identify the problem and assess the risk. And finally, put control measures in place in order to eliminate it. In the past year, we had problems with back pain. Logs would block the entrance of the conveyor, and the operator had to manually unblock these pieces with a pick. We took a piece of equipment that wasn't doing anything, and we installed it to be a loader. Now the loader operator no longer has to leave his work area. All the commands are inside, so that he can unblock the conveyor and continue his work. There is less time lost in the mill, and the operator works in complete safety. Look at the monitors in this room. They allow the operator to keep his neck and head in a comfortable position. He can see clearly and there is no strain on his neck. Safe and effective. Correct posture is essential in working safely. We'll talk more about posture in a minute. Moving heavy objects, not just logs, but any heavy object, is dangerous work and the most frequent cause of MSIs. Groupe Savoie eliminated this danger to workers by engineering a solution, a crane. There's a world of difference between raw timber and prepared foods, but the same safety-first principle applies at McCain Foods. Some specific examples McCain has implemented over the past few years is the continuous improvement to look into new technologies for manual material handling. Some new technology McCain has invested in is our pallet pals, our vacuum lift, and our flower hoist. All of these tools were engineered to reduce or eliminate the stress and strain of lifting and moving heavy objects. If you're feeling muscle strain at work, tell your supervisor. He or she needs to know. You may be working incorrectly, or you may have found a problem to be solved before someone is injured. Injuries are no accident. They are the result of unsafe work habits or workplace conditions. It's important to learn from each other. We believe that everybody has a role to play in safety. Safety is looking after yourself, your colleagues, and everyone around you. In meeting with the employees, we can make the simplest of modifications that can greatly assist us, among many other things, to prevent accidents. We have to listen to these employees and try to improve workstations. The best payback in safety is when we can put something into place that isn't too expensive. It's often said that one dollar invested in safety will pay you back much more, and that is a reality. Any task which requires a person to lift, lower, push, pull, 
hold or carry any object is called manual handling. There are three ways you can reduce your risk of musculoskeletal injury. Proper posture. Keep your body relaxed. Move with your load. Point your feet where you want to go rather than twisting your spine. Keep your work at a comfortable level. Avoid jerky motions. See how this fellow uses a tool and his body weight to guide the load? If someone's not sure of the safe thing to do, they should ask someone around them or their supervisor. Keep your work in your power zone, between your knees and shoulders. You're strongest in your power zone. Avoid lifting above shoulder and below knee level. Use tools and techniques to maintain the proper posture and keep you in your power zone. Ignoring that fact because you're in a hurry, don't know, or have forgotten is how injuries happen. Safety is more important than production quotas. It's in everyone's best interest to work safe. Keep loads close to your body, close to your center of gravity. Don't reach or bend for things. That's improper posture. Awkward positions make you vulnerable to an injury. Lift with your knees, not your back. There's a right way and a wrong way to do every job. The right way is the safe way. Reduce force. Proper lifting technique reduces injury. Strength is not the issue. Working safely is about technique and proper posture. Work in your power zone. This fellow uses the motion of the conveyor to help him flip the cut timber because it's easier to guide movement than create it. Notice that the conveyor is at the right height and his work is centered in his power zone. He swings his body with the work. He lets gravity work for him. It's harder to lift things than to guide them downhill. Move loads for as short a distance as possible. The less time a weight is in your hands, the better. Whenever possible, share the load. And always use the tools designed for the job. Here's an example of how we've solved a problem moving large wood. Removing it off the chains has been hard on people's backs. So we've introduced some hydraulics. Now we lift it up and we slide it. Prior to this, we had to pull it off. And from there, we had to lift with no leverage and put it onto the carriers, causing a lot of trouble for the guys. Now with the hydraulics, the problem is better. Light or heavy, any repetitious work puts a strain on your muscles. Job rotation provides a change of position or posture and is an effective way to minimize repetitious strain injuries. And ultimately, that's everyone's objective, to eliminate workplace injuries by making safety a central part of the corporate culture. We want our employees to take safety personally. We want our employees to come to work and work safe because they want to go home safely as well. A lot of repetitious work can be replaced by automation, but occasionally machines break down and the work has to be done manually. This woman is doing her job safely. Her body is close to the conveyor. She keeps the work close, doesn't reach or stretch, elbows bent at 90 degrees, wrists straight and a nice steady pace. Smooth, smart, safe. McCain is one of the largest food companies in the world. They've invested millions in creating a safer workplace for their employees. And they are still investing because safety is a job that never ends. WorkSafe is not a destination. It's a process, a commitment to continuous improvement. You are part of that process. Safety is a journey. We want to keep on improving until we have a zero accident rate. We have four safety principles at McCain we abide by. Nothing we do is worth getting hurt for. Safety can and should be managed. Every injury could and should have been prevented. And we owe ourselves and each other a safe place to work. For us, change is not an event, it's a process. Behavior is one thing, but there is also properly analyzing the hazards and risks to eliminate everything possible in a workplace. Safety starts with our behavior, but we should also look at the design of the machines, among other things. We have a lot of work to do in this area. 
Proper safety training is a joint responsibility between employer and employee. Everyone should recognize the signs of a potential MSI and implement preventative health and safety programs. If you have questions about how to handle materials safely, ask your supervisor. Or visit our website at www.worksafenb.ca. Thank you for watching this video. Working safely is a gift you give yourself and your children. So make the best of your life, make the best of your career, safely. We just want to thank everybody for their attention in this video. And remember that you have a part to play in safety. Work safe for yourself, your friends, your family, your co-workers. And know that they're relying on you.